Hello and welcome to day 18 of Infuse and Enthuse. Today my subject's about structure. It follows on from yesterday where um, I was talking about mindfulness and focus. And it also is great synchronistic after a conversation I had with some um, fellow writers this morning and how structure for some of us um, is something that we resist big time. Um, and I'll give you a story of of some, um, my involvement in an art class because my idea of structure is all about people who are very um, orderly and actually for some reason I had a perception around it years ago about those types of people being boring old farts. Now the irony is that two of my best girlfriends are both extraordinarily um, good at organizing things and very left brain type of people so very necessary to very to creative people like myself who are all over the shop and a bit like my ball theme um so far as the energy being scattered all over the place it's a matter of pulling on it um to create some structure now my story around this is i was in an art class and unbeknownst to me, my teacher was behind me, watching me. Now I'm, again, like one of these people who I see something over here and see something over there. And so I plonk it all on the page and it looked complete and utter chaos. And she brought my attention to it because I could see what was there, but it was just a massive blur. And she advised me to actually work my way with the, with the light that I was seeing or the dark that I was seeing, whatever I was focusing on, to methodically work my way through that. Now, again, that's another resistance of mine doing things methodically, um, just because of the way my, my brain operates. But it is um, a great skill to integrate into your life on many, many levels, um, albeit little um, structures that you have in your day to actually um, entice you to, once you start doing something, it gets you into the rhythm and the motivation. Otherwise, it's one of those things where I'll do it later, I'll do it later sort of thing. Um, a bit like getting dressed in the morning. We all love sitting around in our jammies, but once you've showered and dressed and things, you feel ready to take on the day. And it's embracing that feeling of what you perhaps don't want to do, but how it's going to serve you and making something sacred out of it. Um, let me know your experiences and how you handle this subject. I'd be intrigued to know. So thank you for your attention today and have a good structured day. Bye.